time to review something a little bit different on Tuesday Reviews. Hi, I'm Deborah, also known as Dubage42. Welcome back to my channel. While you're thinking about it, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Today's review is about something a little different. Instead of a makeup product, which I have plenty I want to review, uh, restaurants and different things, today I'm going to review our current political stuff. Yeah. Well, in a sort of a simple, easy phrase, our political climate sucks. It sucks big time. It sucks eggs. I don't know where that came from. What's wrong with eggs? I, I don't know. But think about it. Okay, whether or not you voted for his grand Cheeto-ness, you can tell I'm not a Trump fan. Also not a Hillary fan, so don't even go there, okay? But there is an investigation going on as to whether or not there was a Russian interference in our elections last year. Yes, there is an ongoing investigation. No matter what Trump tries to say in his little interviews and through his mouthpieces out there, there is an ongoing investigation. So what did he do? He fired the person leading the investigation. If that doesn't smack of guilty as sin, for lack of a better word, I don't know what does. Dude, if you've got nothing to hide, tell them to bring it on the investigation. You know, we're sick of it. The American people, we're sick of hearing how, well, I won and I, you know, I, I, the, the popular vote was wrong and, it, you know, three million people voted illegally, whatever. Okay, you won the presidency, you won the electoral college, which is how it works in this country. Shut up. Stop tweeting us your rants and your threats. Yes, did you see what Trump tweeted after he fired Comey? He tweeted that Comey had uh, better not have any recordings when he starts leaking stuff. What? Okay, are you a sixth grader? Or are you a grown ass adult who's the leader of the free freaking world, huh? Act like it. You know what scares me more than anything right now? in this country, the fact that one overgrown man child, Trump, is having little arguments and petty stuff against another overgrown man child, the leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. Both of these dudes have nuclear stuff, okay? Put them in a room alone together and let them battle it out and decide whose toys are better. Don't take it out on humanity. I saw a great tweet by Anna Navarro, a conservative uh, news source, works for Fox. She's very conservative, but she cannot stand President Trump. She couldn't stand him when he was running. Okay. She tweeted out, and not a direct quote, of course, this is from my memory. Um, she tweeted out that this presidency is like watching an episode of House of Cards. Can someone please change the channel? If you've never watched House of Cards, start now. Do it, start from the beginning, watch it all the way through. Because, you know, you kind of thought that, oh, you just can't make this shit up. Reality is stranger than the fiction out there. One of my favorite replies to the Anna Navarro tweet was someone who said, yeah, and we're all Zoe Barnes. You watch that show, you'll understand exactly what she meant. I replied, yes, because that's exactly what we're all. We're all getting pushed in front of that damn train. Sorry, spoiler alert. So my review of the administration, it sucks. Every administration has problems. I've never really agreed with any politician on everything. Okay, I disagree with Obama on a lot of his policies and a lot of his viewpoints on stuff, but you know what? I 
always respected him and still do as a person, as an intelligent adult type person in this world. Trump, not so much. You know, back when I first heard several years ago that Trump was going to run for office, I thought, well, a businessman, hey, that might be interesting. Let's do some research. And then I did some research. Oh, hell no, is what I said. I found out what kind of person he was. He's not just a, you're fired guy, you know, from the show. No, nepotism reigns supreme. Look at it now. Still with the nepotism, the White House is full of little Trumps. It's really, really disturbing. He's all often saying, we'll make America great again. Great as in what? So you're saying we're not great now? Okay. What era of then are you trying to bring back? The era when we uh, pretty much killed most of the indigenous population when we came over? No? Okay, later than that? Okay. The era when we had slaves, when slavery was legal and black people were not considered whole people. That era? No? Okay. Hmm. Which era then? The era when we weren't allowed to marry outside of our race. Whites could only marry whites. And in some states, blacks couldn't even marry each other legally because, well, they're not people. So that doesn't matter. That era? Is that the era you're talking about? No. Hmm. Then what the hell are you talking about? Make America great again. The only thing that Trump has made great again is Saturday Night Live. Yeah. The jokes write themselves. You can watch a skit on Saturday Night Live and almost believe that it's real because so much of it is happening. That is disturbing. <sighs> Normally, I don't go on rants when I'm reviewing. Normally, I'm reviewing fun stuff like makeup or music or movies or restaurants. And it's usually some fun stuff that I really, really like. This time, it's something I don't like. This administration has actually made me ponder leaving the country. Yeah. Looking at other opportunities and actually it's made me learn more about some other countries in the process. We are not the only country with freedom. Not by a damn long shot. <laughs> some other countries could be said to have more freedoms than we do in a lot of areas. So will I leave? Probably not. Cost a lot of money, big leap. But boy, thinking about it, it's sad to coin a phrase that a loyal American like myself, a somewhat patriotic American would even contemplate going elsewhere because they can see the spiraling shithole that our political system has become. He's trying to make himself supreme freaking dictator or something. Yeah, he's been talking about stopping press briefings. He has had meetings with Russians in the White House, in the People's House, with Russian officials behind closed doors. The Russian media was there but not the American media. They weren't allowed. How did we know about these meetings? Because the Russian media was putting it all out there. Hello, the internet is a thing, people. It's disturbing. It's sad. And it's very, very frustrating. Hopefully, this will resolve itself in short order. And we as a nation will recover from the eventual impeachment and perhaps imprisonment 
of our current Commander-in-Chief. Hmm. Now that's something to think about. I'll have some real reviews up here. Click for them. Regular reviews, that is. And down here, how about click and subscribe? You never know what you're going to hear out of this big mouth. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.